Zwift, like Strava, is pretty widespread amongst us cyclists these days. It's now one of these essential apps that most of us will either have or at least know all about. It's a great way of making 45 minutes on the turbo far more interesting and a fantastic way of getting a ride in when the weather outside is not playing ball. Some even Zwift purely and simply because they enjoy using the app. But if you're anything like me, it can be very easy for your mind to wander a little while pedalling. I find myself very distracted at times, thinking about all kinds of things, life, world politics, and if we had bigger ears, would we look anything like rabbits? Running Zwift on my MacBook, I've come to the conclusion that staring at its small screen just isn't enough to hold my attention. What I need is a slightly bigger screen. And when I say slightly bigger, what I actually mean is the biggest screen I can lay my hands on. Trouble is, I don't happen to have a spare couple of grand kicking about cooling its heels to splash out on the latest super duper screen. What a pickle. Then I saw this little Joace smart projector on Amazon Launchpad and they very kindly sent it to me to try out. It's smart because it's kind of like a Wi-Fi Android tablet, but without the screen. In fact, it's not much bigger than a smartphone as it is. You can download apps to it and then use the projector part to view them. At the risk of sounding somewhat overdramatic, I'm hoping that it's basically going to revolutionize my Zwifting by giving me a completely immersive experience. Now the key to doing just that is to fill your field of view as much as possible. So if I can project Zwift onto a really big screen, it should, in theory, be almost like you're there. So, first things first, I needed to set up a screen. A quick trip down to my local builder's merchants found this wooden rod, and a trip to the local Asda, or Walmart for my US chums, found this basic white bed sheet. Now I have my turbo trainer set up in my conservatory, so it was relatively easy to simply gaffer tape the rod to one end of the room and then hang the sheet from it with some crocodile clips. This way I'm able to put it up and take it down easily. This also avoids me being served up a great big portion of nag pie from my other half for overtaking yet another room with all my stuff. Love her really. Next, I needed to set the projector up. The general rule of thumb is that the further from the screen you can position it, the larger the image will be. Fortunately, the output from this projector is quite high, so I was only limited by the size of the room and the size of the screen. I also needed to be careful to position it so that I didn't block the beam when I'm on the bike. I did this by placing it to the side and slightly above me. It took a bit of experimenting, but I eventually found the sweet spot. Obviously, when you do this, the image will be distorted and do what's known as keystoning. Fortunately, the projector has a clever little feature where you can make manual adjustments to the beam to correct it. Alternatively, if you're fortunate to have a large enough room, the projector also has a feature where you can have a reversed mirror image of the output. This would allow you to back project squarely onto the screen, thus eliminating any keystoning issues or you blocking the beam while Zwifting. You could also position it behind and above you, but I was unable to do this because there was just nowhere in my conservatory to hang it from. Next, I needed to get Zwift actually running on the screen. My first thought was to connect the HDMI out on my MacBook to the HDMI in on the projector. This worked brilliantly, but unfortunately, for some reason, it bypassed the anti-keystoning function, reverted to the distorted image, and there was nothing I could do to change it. Rather annoying. Then I saw that there was an app on the projector called Happycast. 
When I opened this up, I was able to use the screencast function on my MacBook and send Zwift to the projector completely wirelessly over Wi-Fi. This worked amazingly well. Not only did it maintain the anti-keystoning settings on the projector, it was also fast enough for there not to be any delay to the image. Then came the moment of truth. Was this going to be everything that I'd hoped? Because my conservatory has loads of daylight coming in, I had to wait until it was dark outside to get the full effect of the projector. But once the sun had set, I started it all running. From my position on the bike, the screen filled my field of view so much that I actually had to turn my head from side to side to take it all in. It really did sort of feel like I was there in Watopia. It helped that I'd changed from the default view in the app, the one where you see your avatar from just behind, to the true point of view angle, so option three on the keyboard. At times, the app was even casting my avatar shadow on the road in front of me, and oddly enough, that was very realistic. So too was riding under bridges and through tunnels when they were going over my head. Overtaking and being overtaken by other riders was also very realistic, and I found myself focusing much more on trying to catch riders up and sitting on wheels. I was even trying to lean into corners. What an idiot. I've also upgraded my in-ride entertainment with a pair of new Bluetooth wireless headphones. Now I have unusually small ear canals and getting headphones that don't just simply fall out is a big problem for me. As you can see this particular pair have little loops that securely attach themselves to my delicate little ear holes. They also have incredible audio quality and allow me to control the music coming from my iPhone wirelessly. They even have voice command although I'm not sure I had any breath left for this. If you're running the Zwift companion app, you could even use this to potentially communicate with your fellow Zwifters. All in all, I am loving this new immersive Zwift experience. The great thing with the projector as well is that when I'm not Zwifting, I can plug in my DVD player or even use the built-in Netflix app and turn my pain cave into my own personal cinema. If you'd like more details on the projector or the earphones, please let me know in the comments and I will do a full review. Otherwise, you can simply follow the link in the description below to view them on Amazon. It's an affiliate link, so if you buy it, I will earn a little bit of commission, but at no extra cost to you. Thanks for watching.